a poet and I didn't even know it. I'm a poet and I didn't even know it. I'm a poet and I didn't even know it. What is up, ladies and gentlemen, and those who have yet to make up their minds? Thank you very much, Kinky Boots, for that intro. It's that time again to make another delicious thing. I am clearly not dressed, so I'm just gonna go grab something. So that is correct, I'm stepping up my game! So this week, as you've seen by the title, we are making another Jamie Oliver recipe, and this time it's his delicious carrot cake. Obviously, step one, have your drink in hand. Step two, find that playlist, play that music. Trust me, it's gonna be so good. We are making a carrot cake. So, obviously you're going to need a lot of ingredients. You will need the following things. 250 grams of unsalted, butter, 250 grams of light brown sugar or just brown sugar, five large eggs, Jamie Oliver loves his free range eggs. You will also need the zest and juice of an orange, 170 grams of uh, self-raising flour, one heaping tablespoon of baking powder, uh, you can go ahead and just add that straight to the flour if you want. 100 grams of ground almonds. 100 grams of walnuts. You'll need them chopped. One tablespoon of ground cinnamon and half a tablespoon of ground ginger. 250 grams of peeled and coarse grated carrots. And last but not least, you'll need a pinch of sea salt. Okay, step one, because I always forget step one, is to preheat your oven. 180 degrees Celsius. 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, first step is you're going to take your butter and you're gonna mix it in with your sugar. In goes the butter, in goes the sugar. You just need to mix this up and mash it up till it becomes kind of like a soft consistency. Add your eggs. I'm trying to add them one by one. Also, before I move on, because I completely forgot, separate your egg yolks, you can't see the egg yolk, and your egg whites. Take a pinch of salt, add it to the egg whites, and just use a fork and whisk it together. Take an egg, uh, egg yolk one by one and kind of incorporate it into your butter sugar. Remember last week's video? Everything, including the alcohol, was well incorporated! Once you have a good pizza today, you're going to add the juice of an orange and the zest. Add that to your mixture. Then mix that in a little bit. I found something green. Oh, that's fun. Um, you know the um, stem part of an orange? Make sure that doesn't go into your food. Okay, next, you're pretty much just gonna add the rest of the ingredients. So, the flour with the baking soda, ground almonds. I'm gonna add half of the walnuts and then the other half I'm gonna use for like decoration on top. Cool. Add the carrots. Who loves cinnamon? If you love cinnamon, like this video, seriously. And then half a taste. Whoop. Mix this all together so you have an even consistency. That sound though. You like that sound? Once everything is well incorporated, you're going to add the um, egg whites. Uh, what the instructions say is to fold the egg whites in. So don't mix. Fold. Fold around and full. You're learning stuff. It takes longer to mix everything together, but it makes sure that everything stays fluffy and you don't flatten anything. Because when you mix everything crazy, you tend to flatten stuff. Cool, so I'll see you guys in like two minutes. Last step is to butter your tin. I like to glaze it with sugar. Uh, that way, when it bakes, the outside becomes nice and crispy. Anyways, take your mixture. Uh, I just came to the realization glass bowls aren't that great because they're heavy. It's fine. Man. I know, I know this would be easier with a spatula, but I don't have one. Okay, this takes a while to bake, so it's going to take about 50 minutes. Five zero. Yeah. So I've been playing with this off camera because it got stuck in the tin and then it broke. I was actually gonna bring this to a party. Um after this, but I guess I can't do that now. I mean, outside of that, it tastes really good. Yeah. So I guess this is a carrot loaf fail. I can't really present you with anything, so 